military. Have some respect. So he gets to assault us now. What's up, guys? I'm out here today at this, this cool little protest that we got going on. These people are about to be marching on the capital of South Carolina. January 7th, they missed January 6th uh, anniversary by a day. But we're still just chilling, seeing what's going on here. We got some counter protesters over there. Uh, and we're going to see these uh, two sides clash. It's going to be really awesome. So we'll, we'll see what's happening. And I'll catch back with you guys later in the middle of the protest. Peace out. To kick off the protest, the pro-lifers sent out their infantry in the form of a pro-life dog. This pup and his adorable face sent a clear message that their opponents might be barking up the wrong tree. The pro-choicers countered, however, by sending in this woman who many thought would mow down the front line. However, at the last second, she chose peace and thus averted the collision heard around the world. Um, just want to give you a heads up, so this march is going to start. Yeah. Please. Don't touch anybody. Okay. Just pull you, okay? Interview, interview time! time. Um, do you, you want to be interviewed? Yeah, sure. sure what oh, for? This is my YouTube channel. What's up, YouTuber? I'm, I'm, in, I'm with Information Wars, and today we're going to be interviewing... What's your name? Dan. Dan. Nice to meet you. I'm Jonah. Hey, Jonah. So what are you doing out here today in the city of Columbia? Freezing my nips off. Sir, what is what's what's your favorite Marvel character? Cinematic universe or comics? Overall. Adam Warlock. Oh, the dude from Maze Runner. All was quiet on the pro-life front until approximately 11:36 a.m. when they began their march on the Capitol. At this point, one of the pro-choicers got confused and switched sides. She started marching with the pro-lifers until this kind man on the bike sorted her out and sent her off the front line. Approximately 12 minutes later, the march arrived at the Capitol. Hundreds of pro-lifers poured into the Capitol grounds, and though no one would stop them now, to everyone's surprise, a certain spaceman was waiting there, silent, in protest. I didn't understand. Why had Mando come, and where was Baby Yoda? At this point, the Capitol grounds were full of people from all over the state of South Carolina. More and more people gathered around, and thus, I grew restless in the crowd. I decided to get a new perspective on things. I decided to climb the Capitol steps. Soon enough, the rally had officially begun. Speaker after speaker stood up in front of a crowd whose values more closely matched their own. Eventually, I noticed some kids playing on a field beside the state house. They were just tossing a football, completely uninterested in the ideological conflict going on a few feet away from them. Kids being kids, having fun. People yelling all around them, and here they are, playing catch. Here I am on the steps of a building that embodies democracy. Here I sit and listen. How can these two factions stand so strongly divided and yet both believe that they're doing what's right? Our nation would not exist but for the freedom to think differently, the freedom to challenge others and assert that there's a better way. The battleground of Congress is meant to ensure that as a nation we take our time to get things right. I only hope that the rise of political factions have not conflated people's sense of what is right with what is easy. Talking is easy. Listening is hard. It seems today that the more you talk, the more well received your words will be. The modern abuse of silly linguistic demonstrations and rhetoric have diluted what is valuable, the truth. I for one would rather say what I mean and nothing less. What you mean is real. 
What you say for approval is a cheap imitation, not worth the breath. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this week's video. If you'd like to support my dream of dropping out of college, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below any dope video ideas that you'd like to see me do in the future. You guys rock. I'll catch you later.